Hey guys, so it is time for story time with Cardinal Infections. <laughs> we have a little bit of a tale to tell you guys today. Um, well, Mason Zilantra was <laughs> attacked by a swarm of bees. Yeah, so we'll just start at the very beginning. Like he said, uh, I was going to the bathroom and I looked out the window and there was thousands of bees in the air right in front of the window. It was making an audible, yeah. like an audible um, buzzing sound. You know, you could actually hear it. And I was like, what in the world? Yeah, you like, couldn't mistake it. It would sound like a, like a, just a, a helicopter was outside. <laughs> like, nuts, how many of them. And then, you know, kind of in shock, we were just like, come look at this like what is going on outside and you know we just kind of looked out the window and just kind of marveled at just how many there were for a few minutes um and then we were like well what should we is there i mean we didn't really see any reason to do anything about it certainly wasn't walking outside no. um you know with twenty thousand bees flying through the air but um <laughs> what unfolded before our eyes was i guess maybe the queen bee decided to land on the hood of my car um, and decided to call that her final resting place and all 20,000 of them eventually just started to congregate on my hood of my car. So that was really the oh crap moment. <laughs> like once they started all landing on the car, we were like what in the world is going on? You know, it went, it went from being like, oh, this is, this is wild, like a natural phenomenon, yeah. to like, uh-oh. Um, this might be a problem. Yeah, this is, this is going to be an issue. But yeah, they all started to land on the hood of the car. And basically what happened after that for the next, I don't know, couple an hour hours do. maybe, yeah. um, they just kind of migrated from place to place on the car. Um, from what I've looked up in research, like he said, it seems to be that the, the queen will land and all the other ones will kind of come on top of her to protect her. Luckily, I actually, my girlfriend had, you know, a bee problem a few days earlier, so she recommended me contact a beekeeper. So apparently that's what they do, uh, is just kind of collect bees from various different circumstances. So we got in contact with probably, I don't know, like five or six different beekeepers. Um, but a lot of them were actually very busy that day. So it took them a few hours to actually make it to the house. And unfortunately, by the time that that happened, uh, the queen bee had decided that her new home was going to be in the engine of my car because they started to migrate. They migrated on the windshield and then they started to go up underneath of the hood from the windshield. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on the surface it looked like there were less of them, but they were just under the hood and you couldn't see them and they were all just up underneath of the hood. We get to get footage of when the beekeeper came uh, <laughs> because it was so unbelievable. But, um, you know, so the beekeeper, he starts doing his thing. Uh, but like we said, it, it makes it a lot less accessible than yeah. what they usually are hoping for. Because if it does happen on a car, and it is rare, but it's usually on the outside of the car in a hoard, and they can begin kind of scooping yeah. and collecting like that. Now what made this particular situation a little trickier for the beekeeper is that the queen had actually buried herself up in the bottom of the fender well so that's you know not really easily accessible and the queen is what the beekeeper is really looking for because when they get the queen um, all the other bees will follow so if they can extract the queen out of the stack of bees then you know all the other bees will come with them so he was not really able to get the queen so what he ended up doing was trying to collect as many of them as he possibly could so he got it was almost maybe one or two hives full of bees that he could get out of it but he couldn't quite get them all um, and unfortunately I, he was not able to find the queen um, out of the stack of bees so unable to get the queen bee out the uh, 
the beekeeper said something along the lines of this is a disaster and then ended up leaving, <laughs> leaving and then giving me a call and telling me basically good luck with it. Um, but, you know, we're happy that he was able to get two hives worth of bees, you know, it was to definitely be the safely, majority, yeah. the large majority. Yeah, to be safely, bees. you know, um, live their lives out at a beehive or bee farm or wherever um, safely. Um, but, so that later that night, it was actually going to be really cold here in Lexington. So we were hopeful that, um, you know, maybe the rest of them would get cold and move on or, you know, something. Right. And indeed, the next day we went outside in the morning and we checked. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there was a cluster of the bees inside of that fender well. And they were froze into like an ice block because they had actually been raining beforehand. So maybe they were wet too. And they almost were like a, an actual block of ice with these bees yeah. in it. So even after we thought they were frozen, here they are back alive. Apparently when it warms up, they just thaw back out again. We came back at the end of the day and had warmed up. The bees thawed out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And they were totally back to life again. Yep. Completely undisturbed, just continuing on their business just like nothing had happened. Yep. Like they totally did not freeze into an ice cube. So now that the bees were still back alive again, um, I basically, my, my solution to this was, you know, we have two cars, it's during quarantine, we're not going very, you know, we're not going anywhere really, so, you know, we'll just drive the Tesla and, you know, the beekeeper said that they should leave within a few days, so I said, all right, cool. And, you know, as he said, you know, about four days go by and it seems to be less and less of them moving yeah. around. Um, and I was like, all right, great. We've got this problem under control. Uh, and then literally today we this said- is, This is, this part is so ironic. Honestly, like, yeah. We can't make this, this, I mean, it sounds fictitious, but I swear <laughs> we're not making this up. We said, yeah. all right, this interesting problem we had with the bees, let's film a video about it. People want to know, it's pretty interesting having a swarm of bees land on your car, what you should do, you know, whatever. This is very interesting. Let's film a video today. Yep. So we had lunch, we're getting ready to make this video. Get in the equipment, I swear, get in the equipment. I walk into my room again, <laughs> almost the same exact situation plays out. Oh yes, yep. As the very first time, I look out, there are thousands of bees in the air right in front oh, of yes. my window again. And they're starting to congregate back on, on to car. this car we're in right now, this Elantra. Yep. So this time we, we said, literally, I it was like a full blown <laughs> panic in the house. Drew was like, Mason, they're here again. And then we all ran down the stairs, and you know, because I was like, they are not gonna make no, no, home no. in my house, in my car again. So Drew and I ran outside in our PJs, and we said we are <laughs> not letting this happen again. So I ran out in a swarm of about ten thousand bees with shorts and everything. So it's wonder I didn't get eaten alive. Um, but I took off and. Well, you know, I guess that kept the swarm from getting on this car. I, I hope when I park it back, they don't come back. I don't know. Yeah, we don't actually. This is a continuing really, we don't, story. Yeah, this is an um, ongoing thing. We don't know what's going to happen. But uh, there's still probably, I don't know, there's several on here still. About there's, 100. Yeah. there's like 100 on the car right now. Yeah, every stoplight I stop at, there's a few of them that blow off and then go into someone else's car. And I'm like, oh gosh. But yeah, so that's actually legitimately what happened so I guess we'll have to keep you guys posted on if my car is just gonna permanently become a beehive because <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to do I texted the beekeepers and they're just like they, they say something along the lines of that's crazy and offer no advice because I think they're out of advice and I'm just like okay well that's not very helpful but you know, I, I don't really know what to do, so if there are any fellow beekeepers out there that would love to make a trip up to Lexington to get rid of these things once and for all, that would be great. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's an ongoing they, story. They, when you have some bees, they need to be relocated. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after he pulled off, the horde lifted up <laughs> and it went above our house and out the other side. So I guess they just hang out and wait for the car to come back and then down on oh it so uh, yeah we don't really have um, 
much of a plan at this point uh, besides park someplace that's not there. Uh, we're going to park away from that, maybe a substantial distance away from that, and hopefully that they won't find it. I, I don't know exactly how intelligent bees are, but I... Pretty smart. They I have do the think, pheromones that yeah, shoot Yeah, I out. do think that the bees that are on it right now may tell the other bees where it's at. So... Well, we're here! <laughs> yeah. So we don't really know what to do, but uh, we decided to go ahead and make this video today anyways, as planned, because it's just so unbelievable. It, I, we just had to share. Yeah. We just had to. I mean, it's just outrageous that <laughs> something like this would happen. Everybody we've told and shown photos and videos Alex, of yeah. have just been... Just completely you know, blown struck, away. Yeah, they're like, what in the world? I got so <laughs> many things. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's the story of Elantra and the bees.